automated weather observation, 1554 Zulu. Larry Anglosato at Aviation Consumer Magazine. You know, even with all the fancy avionics we load in our airplanes these days, the lowly old handheld transceiver still lives on, and there's a reason for that. If those avionics fail, or the electrics fail, you've got a backup. And if you're like me, you use a handheld comm radio as part of your pre-flight planning. Now, Sporties thinks that there's a real need for uh, another radio in the market, and it's introduced the PJ-2. Now, the PJ-2 has got some features that we've never seen in a portable transceiver before. Smart features, including direct plug-in for your headset, so you don't have to use an adapter. I've been using the radio for a couple of months. Here's a look. Power for the PJ-2 is provided by six AA alkaline batteries and there's no rechargeable ones. The radio ships with a USB-C cable that can be plugged into a standard 2.4 watt USB charger that'll actually power the radio. Now a lower wattage charger won't provide enough power to transmit with. Now if you're like me and carry one of Sporty's flight gear backup battery packs, it's convenient for plugging into the radio for auxiliary power. While aircraft electronics have gotten smaller, the portable transceiver really hasn't. And the last thing you want is to struggle with small user controls during a ham-fisted emergency. And for that, the PJ-2 seems just the right size. It's six inches high and about two and a half inches wide. It's just slightly larger than the ICOM A25N. The rotary on-off switch that does double duty as a volume control and also the rotary squelch knob seem perfectly sized and so do the function keys which have a positive feel. The adjustable backlit display on the PJ-2 is acceptable but we've seen better and think the ICOM A25 as one example has the edge. On the other hand, we like the user-controlled variable backlighting and there's a wide range of settings for contrast and brightness. The PJ-2 has frequency storage for 20 frequencies and has a convenient last frequency flip-flop feature. That's handy when the radio is being used as a primary comm and maybe you want to listen to the AWOS before flipping back to the Unicom frequency. The radio also has discrete channels for NOAA's weather radio. But what we really like about the PJ-2 is that you can punch in all six digits of a frequency and the radio will automatically tune it. There's no need to push enter after you finger the frequencies in. And if you want to scroll through the other stored frequencies, there's a dedicated recall button which lists the frequencies that you can scan through to select. Now as for performance, the age-old caveat that applies to portable transceivers still applies to the PJ-2. If there's any chance of talking as far as you can with a panel-mounted radio, you got to connect the radio to an external antenna. Now let's look at a couple real-world scenarios. If you need to talk yourself down on an instrument approach from a higher altitude, you're working several different frequencies, chances are the watt and a half worth of power that's being radiated by this rubber antenna probably isn't going to cut it. But if you're VFR and need to check in with a control tower or maybe announce your position on a Unicom frequency, the rubber antenna will probably work if you're at the right altitude and there aren't a lot of obstructions around you. Now if you're going to use the radio for copying a clearance on the ground or listening to the weather before you climb into the airplane, the radio with the portable antenna works just fine. Receiver's so good I even use it in my kitchen to listen to the airport ATIS which is about 8 miles away. As for price, Sporty sells the PJ-2 just shy of $200 and we think that's fair. The radio has obviously been well received. As we go to production in the beginning of November, the unit's back ordered till January. Now you can read a full report on the Sporty's PJ-2 transceiver in the November 2019 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. If you like this content, thumbs up down below. Thanks for watching.